Now the dynamics in Formula One are dictated by two main parameters, downforce and drag. A Formula One car is essentially the opposite of a fighter jet. In the case of a plane, the air pulls it in the sky and keeps it flying. In the case of a Formula One car, it pushes it on the ground and helps it go around the corners much faster. The downforce a Formula One car produces is so huge that it allows it to go around the corners much faster than any other car. And together with a very efficient braking system, it can also decelerate much faster than any other vehicle. The process that gets us to good biodynamic package is called aerodynamic development. There we try to develop every single component that is in contact with the external air stream. That may cover wings, may cover suspension components, uh, bodywork and cooling ducts. Everything is developed using aerodynamic development techniques. We clearly prioritize between components that have more potential and others that have less. So we spend much more time in some areas where we can find a lot of performance, such as for example wings, and less time in, in areas which have much less potential of development. A development cycle starts typically in CFD. There, following an initial idea, we try to design a component to produce certain characteristics. That may take a few weeks. When we have some initial results and we think a component is still promising, then we take that same component to the wind tunnel and do some measurements. If the wind tunnel confirms the potential we've seen in CFD, then that component will be made for the real car, it will be made in proper dimensions and go to the track. If, on the other hand, the wind tunnel says that the component doesn't work properly, then we have to decide whether to abandon the concept or do another iteration. So we may redesign a certain feature in order to try to recover the performance that we didn't get the first time around. Aerodynamic performance in development isn't just about downforce and drag. Sometimes we get feedback from the circuit that certain, the car may have certain characteristics that are causing the car to be unstable in certain conditions or maybe where the driver doesn't have full confidence. In aero development, we then try to analyze these effects and develop and eliminate them and hence give a car to the driver that makes him feel more confident and hence go faster.